In this video, uh, I was going to show you a couple other little modifications that I've made to the Harbor Freight tire changer. I removed the pin that comes through here, and then I just bored out a hole in the bottom that you can see here that matches the slot in the top. And then I just use a piece of threaded rod, um, I think it's 3 is threaded rod with a piece of um, half inch outer diameter tubing over it. And I can just insert that in the slot and it kind of locks it in place between the top and the bottom slot and it keeps the tire from uh, rotating or the wheel from rotating. The other new modification here is the uh, bar holder that I've mounted here and I just used a piece of inch and a half um, steel pipe and a bunch of um, pipe clamps for now. I'll probably try to make it a little bit more permanent in the future. And I put a couple of little pieces of spacer plastic behind it to uh, keep the uh, bar holder parallel with this post because the diameter of the upright tube is a little bit larger than um, the width of this post coming out. And so using that, I can just use a piece of um, steel tubing, also just from Lowe's, and insert that in. And that becomes the handle the, in place of the bar to rotate around. And I'm hoping that that will make it a lot easier instead of having to always grab for the bar. Uh, I'm hoping it will make it a lot easier just to um, have that always um, held right in place there. Alright, so this is the debut of the new bar holder uh, refinement here. I've just got the inch and a half pipe right now just held on by pipe clamps. I'm hoping that they're going to hold up okay. But it might be exciting. And I can just stick the bar, which is a piece of inch and a quarter seal that it mates really well, um, into that holder and it just holds it in place. I'm hoping that's going to make mounting the tire on the rim a lot easier because um, instead of having to rest in place and then go grab for the bar, I'm hoping I can just put it in place and pull the uh, ductbill right around. Anyway, let's give it a try. I've got the tire here, these are the VW tires, all moved up. I'll just set that in place for a minute. And now I can take the bar and just insert it into place and it holds itself so I don't have to go grabbing for that. Now I'm hoping if I just hold it and then get it started. Oh yeah, that's great. So it just pulls right around. And if you remember before or watched those previous videos, I had to kind of wrestle it in place first. Um, and then while I was holding the tire in place, I had to go reach for the bar. Uh, so that was a big improvement, I think. And now for the second bead mount. And that goes smoothly as well, although that one wasn't as inconvenient before. Uh, so I think having the handle to keep the bar in place is a huge improvement, although I do notice it's a little bit loose, so it would be nice to have a more permanent way to um, mount it there. So now let's try the dismount. I'm going to push it on the other side into the drop center. Pull it up over the duck bill. I'm going to insert the little polyethylene tool in place. And even during the dismount here, it's really handy having that bar just in place so I'm not constantly going reaching and grabbing for it. Plus I can just hold on. I don't have to worry about putting this in a certain location or anything, it makes it a little bit easier to just hold on to the rim and the tool with one hand and then I can just pull around the duct bill with the other hand. So I'm going to go on to the lower bead, insert the polyethylene tool again, pull out the tire, and repeat the process. Yeah, so that actually, uh, having the bar mounted there really uh, is a huge improvement, so I definitely recommend it if, uh, if you have this uh, set up, it just takes one more little aggravating factor out of it. In fact, at this point I think it makes it so easy to mount and dismount uh, your tires that it kind of makes you wonder if you, you know, why you'd even want a power machine 